What is up guys, Free on one and welcome to my review for Shogeki no Soma chapter 221, The Battle of Spicy Tastes. Let's do this. Alright guys, so we're picking up where we left off last week. Last week, we basically got to learn a little bit about Rindo, about what her specialty is. She is a rare ingredients master. So, a lot of her specialty is not one particular thing, like with, uh, I believe it was, Ishki is eel. Right? Ishki was, you know, his specialty is eel. So, and Nenekune was noodles, basically. So, we're going to see that Rindo, she could use bug, crocodile, which is, she's using in this. She actually is using crocodile meat. And we're seeing how fierce and ruthless she can be. Obviously, being the current second seat, she is quite good. But basically, that's what went down. We started learning a little bit about Rindo and the different sides of Rindo. Moving on to this week, we basically go straight into the battle between Rindo, the current second seat, and Megashima, the former third seat. All right, this is definitely a battle of the heavyweights. All right, two top three uh, elite ten members going at it. Rindo with a, what seemed to be a crocodile themed dish, and Megashima using his specialty. Ramen. He's going to make an African ramen. All right. We did get a little bit of comedy in this chapter as well with one of the WGO examiners, the female, I believe her name's Anne, basically getting drunk. All right. She got drunk of uh, Sakaki Ryu as uh, uh, sake. All right. So she was a very lightweight and having just a little sip of it, she basically got drunk off it. But the other two judges, Historia and I believe it's Charles, basically said, you don't need to worry. She'll still be completely and totally impartial. In actual fact, her getting drunk is actually a better thing because her sense of taste is boom, through the roof, and she'll be a lot more judgmental and a lot more right down the middle. And Sam is like, <laughs> I don't get it, but whatever, right? So we feel, we find out what Megashima is going to be making. He's going to be making an African ramen, right? And the main ingredient that they're going to be using is chili peppers. So basically chili for those of us in the Western countries. Uh, and basically what ends up going on is he uses an absolute shit ton of them. Boom, it's like a little, like a tablo just... Hoof in and he's cooking it up, and then you got Rindo. We got a lot of panels of Rindo this week, and like looking absolutely ominous and absolutely gorgeous at the exact same time. Yeah, you know, she's got that whole vampire type vibe about her, like that gorgeous vampire woman. You know what I mean? And there was a lot of a lot of panels. You know, we saw just a panel of like her top half, basically like. From like about, you know, just below her chest up. You know, and just her looking absolutely amazing. That'll probably be some of the best pictures in this week's chapter were of Rindo. And she's like, with realizing that Megashima is going all out against Rindo, and he has to, you know, she is the second seat. So if he's not going to go all out against her, who the hell is he going to go all out against? So Rindo is kind of talking, doing that. Wow, well, Megashima, this is the first time I'm actually legit seriously going all out. Why? It's not like you to do this. And he goes, eh, that punk's passion got to me. So, and he goes, he also says, and the reason, only reason I'm using this much chili is because I'm taking you on, and I know you're going to use just as much. She's like, yeah, you know me so well. Hoof, just as much chili goes in, and she's like, dad, ah, and she's going nuts and she's going psycho. And he goes, yeah, we know your cooking isn't, you know, 
isn't clean and dainty in the slightest. You're not that type of cook. And we got her like, ah, ah! we basically going psycho. We then get a flashback where Soma has gone back and started talking and trying to assemble his team. We first seem to talk about to Ishiki and then to Kuga and then to Mimas uh, Subaru to Mimasaka Subaru and basically all of them going. Ishiki's like it's about you know yeah no worries I'm there it's like I'm already here anyway woo right then we got Kuga's like it's about fucking time you called me and then you got Mimasaka was like well I do owe you one so. That's, he got those pretty quickly, but then when he called Megashima, he outright refused. And that's basically where the chapter ends. So, in this chapter, we kind of learn that Megashima is making a completely new ramen. Like, this is something that's never been made before. It's called African ramen. That's his way to combat Rindo's crocodile. All right? How's he going to do it? He's using peanuts as well. There's a lot of things that's going to go in. Yeah. What's going to happen? Will Megashima beat Rindo? Will Rindo beat Megashima? I think the next match we'll probably see after this will be Koga versus uh, Aishin. Um, yeah. A Aishi? Yeah, I can never pronounce this right. But Koga versus the first seat. So I reckon that's going to be the next battle we'll see. But anyway, guys, overall, the art was really good. Like, especially the pictures of Rindo. Like, he made it look very elegant, very beautiful, but at the same time, very intense and very, like, like she's got some backbone to her, yeah? Obviously, being the second seat, she's the second best in the school, and that, I'm not denying that, but I love how that he kind of, in some panels, she looked all nice and beautiful and sexy and everything like that. Just wow. And then in another one, she still had that, but there was an intensity to it. It was like, ooh, yeah, we've got to back off, you know. I need to back off from her because she's a bit more than I can handle. You know, she's like that unattainable, obtainable woman, basically. So I think they portrayed that very well. And her intensity and the fact that she ain't dainty at all. You know, she's, she's a tough dog to crack. And I kind of like that. And I like the fact that Megashima knows this. The Megashim is definitely working to get and beat her. So it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out next week. But anyway, guys, overall, the art was solid. Um, progression, we got a lot of progression. And we're going to seem like we're going to be heading into a bit of a flashback. We also got the announcement of Season 3 of Shogeki no Summer for the anime. Woo, yeah. That made me happy, guys. That made me very, very happy. So... Anyway, guys, overall, for this chapter, I'm going to give it three and a half stars. It was a good chapter. Bit of banter between Megashima and Rindo. Even a little bit thrown at Kuga, who's cooking away uh, against Aishi. Yeah, I like that. Like, they've been lighthearted, but you can tell they're both going all out. But then we got a little bit of a flashback, seeing how we got, we're going to find out how Soma managed to convince Megashima to join the team. That's going to be the interesting thing. But anyway, guys, that is all for me. As always, if you enjoyed the video, smash that thumbs up. It would be greatly appreciated. And, of course, hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. That will be completely appreciated. And, of course, it is 100% completely and totally free. And we all like that free shit. And, as always, guys, I'm Free No One. You guys are awesome. And I'll catch you guys with another review. Peace.